search and rescue operation actually has five stages. I was seeing in, in this preparation, it is silently there, but they are, they, 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 they are, they are talking the, the right things. The first stage of search and rescue is awareness. What, what has happened? Where has it happened? When did it happen? That's the first stage. For us generally in the military, plans are made, operation orders are made, but that plan can just be brought down by just one bullet. You are disorganized completely. UPDF generally has always played its role in search and rescue. And more so, more so uh, the Air Force, the Marines, we have done our part whenever called upon. When Ms. Okot mentioned that, we don't know whether they put some assets ready all the time. Our assets are on the move almost all the time also. I wish this country knows that such a rescue is very important, such that some assets, if we are rich enough to buy some assets to be standby throughout without moving anywhere. We do other operations other than search and rescue. Locusts, we went to start shooting locusts, I think, with, with the bullets or what? We fought them off. <laughs> of those plants in Bududa. All, all, there are so many accidents on the roads that UPDF has always played a leading role. It is not mentioned, but we do. Just was it when we coordinated to pick uh, the former Archbishop from Goli. At 1 a.m., we had to, oh yes. So we were in the thick of it until we, we did our best. We thank God we, we, he's out of danger. So those are some of the things we do just for, for this kind of activities. Emergencies are always, all the time, and we are always ready. He uh, uh, mentioned the, 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 the crash of that uh, Cessna in Palisa. People were stuck. I talked with the, with the director that it cannot be moved, the trucks cannot go there. I said, you just get wired up. What is the weight of that aircraft? He gave me the weight. He said, get the, the, the cable. We took the cable there. Put it center of gravity. Me 17. Lift it to the same place. The, the work was done. It is just people are not aware sometimes that we have the capability. In plan, you must have technical people who can give you various ideas of how to how to mitigate the situation. You get stuck there when you ask somebody can tell you we can do this. How did I know? I knew my Mi-17 has a capability of what? A Cessna is my aircraft, I flew, I know the weight. This one can carry even two, two of them at a go. We had that, uh, that uh, helicopter crash on Mount Kenya. I was there myself. Uh, though, I, of course, I did not remain on the mountain. They coordinated the way, the level of coordination, the questions they were asking me, and the response they went in the morning. It shows that the, the rescue team, the component of this very plan of all the MDOs, Kenyan Air Force did very well. They got all the information for me, and really, just in terms of minutes, after how long did you fly? When did you last lose con uh, contact with them? And they came in immediately. They, they, they estimated the speed of my, our aircraft and the time I took. And that is where they concentrated the search and rescue. 